they rise up in flamboyant majesty. Kimball, Barton, Moeller, Robert Morton, and Wurlitzer. From an era when the movies were silent, they continue to thrill audiences today with their orchestral colors, their power, and their humor. The American Theater Organ Society invites you to enjoy music played on those magnificent musical monsters. Silent movies were given their first sounds by a piano player, but a single piano just didn't have the power or the variety of sounds to do a complete job. Some theaters used a small orchestra, an improvement over the piano, but the spontaneity of the piano, the ability to adapt quickly to scene and mood changes was lost if there was no time for the musicians to preview the film. Church organs had plenty of power, but they were designed primarily to accompany singers. They didn't have the orchestral color needed to convey the emotion, the drama, or the humor in a motion picture. Something else was needed. The Wurlitzer Hope Jones Unit Orchestra was the answer an instrument that resembled a classical organ but was designed to play popular music, simulate an orchestra, provide many special effects, fill a theater with sound, and unlike those inflexible orchestras, have the spontaneity of a solo musician. These versatile instruments were almost as popular as the movies for which they spoke, and many theater organists became as popular as the films they accompanied. Many companies, both large and small, began to build them. The best known was Wurlitzer. That company built more than twice as many theater organs as their nearest competitor, the Robert Morton Company, followed by Kimball, Moeller, Barton, Marr and Colton, Wicks, and more than a score of others. Theaters all over the land installed them. Theater pipe organs carried audiences through the excitement of a thrilling chase brought a tear to the eye. And made audiences laugh. But less than two decades after they were a house attraction, the great theater organs were largely silenced by movies that talked. I'm rolling along, rolling along. No longer was it necessary for a talented musician to enhance what was happening on the screen. The great organs became like the movies for which they were built, silent. But in the early 1950s, a wonderful thing happened. The age of hi-fi was ushered in, and audio fans everywhere eagerly played music that would show off their new sound systems. They found it, recorded by George Wright on the five-manual 26-rank Wurlitzer from Chicago's beautiful Paradise Theater, and issued by Hi-Fi Records. Other companies offered new recordings, too, and it wasn't long before people began to search out these long-forgotten instruments. Theater pipe organs had been rediscovered. Many were found, still intact, in the movie houses where they'd been resting for years. Others needed hundreds of hours of loving restoration before they were playable. Known as the king of instruments, when sound came to the movies, theater pipe organs had been removed from their palaces by the hundreds and reinstalled in restaurants, auditoriums, even in private homes. Hundreds more were put into storage until a new home could be found. Let's look at some of them. When you step into the foyer of the Embassy Theater in Fort Wayne, Indiana, you travel back in time to when going to a movie was more than a casual outing. It was a time to be taken into an auditorium that was lavish beyond anyone's dreams and escorted to your seat by a uniformed usher. Then, while waiting for the movie to begin, you were entertained by the magic of the four-manual, 13-rank Page Theater pipe organ. Mm -hmm. 
Indianapolis is where you'll find the Paramount Music Palace, a restaurant that brings joy and excitement to its patrons with music played on a four-manual 42-rank Wurlitzer. The instrument was originally installed in the Paramount Theater in Oakland, California. The idea of organs in restaurants, and especially pizza parlors, with their more casual atmosphere, found almost instant favor in the 1960s. Another beautiful theater that represents a bygone era of movie making and movie going is the Ohio Theater in Columbus. The artistry of the building is a show in itself. Inside, there's a Robert Morton theater pipe organ to entertain patrons before the show. Its four-manual console controls 20 ranks of pipes. Here's another of those showplace theaters that make you feel good merely by walking into the lobby, the Rialto in Joliet, Illinois. Look at that chandelier hanging in the rotunda and listen to the four-manual 21-rank Barton. There's part of the loop in the background and the Chicago theater right down the block. It's another movie house built several decades ago when theaters were ornate works of art. They just don't make them like this anymore. Let's enjoy the sound of this mighty four manual 29 rank Wurlitzer as it fills the air with music. One of the suburbs of Los Angeles, the town of Agura, is John Ledwan's residence. As we step into the music room, we see the three-manual console of the 29-rank Wurlitzer. Nearby is a grand piano that's played from the organ console. Unlike most classical organs, theater pipe organs were built with extra effects like this to give the performer a much wider variety of sounds from which to choose. When you ask theater organists how they manage to keep all those stops and preset buttons straight, they'll tell you it's no harder than typing or driving a car with a stick shift. We can take a close look inside a theater organ here. The amount of sound that can be generated by a theater pipe organ is tremendous. The volume control for one of these instruments is movable shutters like these, called swell shutters. They're opened and closed by a pedal operated by the organist's right foot. The sound is generated by sets of pipes. Each set, or rank, produces a particular tone and is selected by one of the colored stop tabs on the console. Another difference between classical and theater pipe organs is the availability of percussion instruments. There are bass drums, snare drums, tom-toms, Cymbals, bells, glockenspiels, and many other sounds as well, all controlled by, you guessed it, those talented fingers and feet back at the console. One organ with a colorful history is the five-manual 28-rank molar in the Pasadena Civic Auditorium. 